What's up guys? Happy Thursday and welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about integrity. We're talking about integrity with ourselves. So often when we talk about integrity and whether that's one of your values, it's very outward focused. So we talk about saying something and then following up with an action. But today I want to really zone in and focus on integrity that you have with yourself, the level of integrity that you have with yourself. And that simply comes down to commitments that you make that are aligned with your higher self, aligned with the best version of you. So before I get started, I want to take a second and just not confuse commitments with rules. Two very, very, very different things. When we're making a rule, that's usually out of fear. That's usually out of fear of like what we don't want. Like, let me make this like hardcore rule because if I, if I hold myself to that standard, I'm not going to go off the deep end. For instance, food and body, right? We make rules around food all the time because at a fundamental level, we're terrified of getting fat and what that might mean. So we create all these rules in place. Now, commitments are aligned with the highest, best, and most authentic version of you. Commitments are boundaries that we create, things that we know are going to be driving us into becoming the best versions of ourselves possible. So they come from a place of truth and they come from a place of love. So commitments with ourselves come from a place of love. Rules come from a place of fear. Today, we're going to be just talking about commitments. So I just wanted to make that super clear before we get started. Let's talk about integrity with self for a moment. When you are out of integrity in one area of your life, it percolates into all areas of your life. So you can pride yourself for being super in integrity in some areas, but if there is not a consistency in all areas, you'll feel attention, you'll feel stress, you'll feel anxiety, you'll feel it in your body physically. So Take data and take an inventory, a, a commitment inventory, an integrity inventory of your life at the moment. Look at the different areas of your life, money, relationships, health. Look at all of those areas and truly ask yourself, how in integrity am I in these areas of my life? And we're just simply observing. There's no need to judge yourself or wrong yourself at all. We're just simply looking for the evidence. Okay, cool. In these areas, I am super integral to myself. And in these areas, I need some support in. So really looking at it and asking yourself, cool, what boundaries and commitments do I need to create in this area in order to make me feel in integrity? So for instance, the snooze button, right? You go to bed and you're like, okay, I got to get up for that spin class in the morning. And that's a commitment, right? You know that that's a commitment because it's coming from a place of providing that it's coming from a place of like movement and health and wanting to just be healthy. And then in the morning, you break that commitment by pressing the snooze button 57 times. Right? We've all been there. In fact, I did that this morning, pressing the snooze button 57 times until you wake up. Now, that's okay. That's okay that you break the commitments that you've set for yourself, but approach it with compassion. So let me give you three ways of getting back in integrity with, with yourself. Number one, start small. Start small. We want to be able to find situations where our word, our intentions, and our actions are congruent. There's a consistency there. So we're actually doing what we want to do and what we say we, what we, say we are going to do. So start super small. Like I'm committed to waking up in the morning and having a glass of water with lemon in it. Whatever it is for you starting really small. When we can start small and we can build up that integrity, we can then take on bigger challenges that we can then trust ourselves to do things that are are, are pushing an edge or are, are a little bit more difficult to us. So start small when you're first starting. Number two, share your personal commitments with your community, with your friends, vocalize it, make it real, right? When we can vocalize something and make it real, it gives it leverage. It allows you to feel this like energy of support, which, which helps as well. So vocalize it like this is the commitment I am making to myself. If you want to ask somebody to keep you accountable to doing that, that is beautiful as well. And number three, the most important thing is don't throw in the towel once you've broken your commitment. That's very fear-based, rule-based mentality. If you break a commitment, that's okay. Approach it with love. Approach it with compassion. And don't throw in the towel on the entire day or the entire week. Just have a moment and say, okay, I broke that commitment 
and that's okay. My intention is still the same of building this integrity with myself. I'm going to try again tomorrow. I'm going to do this again. I'm going to bring a new level of energy. I'm going to create more leverage, create my why that's stronger. So it will really be able to allow me to be in integrity with myself. So don't throw in the towel and don't label yourself like you have no willpower or you suck or you've always been like this and you're never going to change. No, throw all of that out the window and approach it with a high level of compassion and curiosity. Why did I break that commitment? What was it? Is it maybe not that important to me? Is it too difficult? Did I set the bar too high? What was it? Doing that self-inquiry and actually figuring out why you broke that commitment will allow you to step into a place of compassion rather than being aggressive and abrasive towards yourself. So that is that. I am super stoked to hear how this video landed for you guys. I want you to write in the comments below a commitment that you're going to make to yourself that's aligned with your higher self. If there's something that you've always been wanting to do and either you haven't had the accountability or it hasn't meant enough to you, I would love for you to voice it in the box below. Let me know what you are going to do this week to get back in integrity, to create commitments and boundaries that are aligned with the highest, best, and most authentic version of who you are. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are on YouTube, make sure you hit the subscribe. If you're on Facebook, share it. And we will see you next Thursday. Bye for now. <laughs>